Okay, right now I'm joined on stage by my dear friend, the very hilarious Lady Bunny. Hi, Bunny. Hi. <laughs> what is uh, the full name? Well, for a while it was the Lady Bunny with quotes around lady. Right. People were getting it mixed up because you, you don't want to have a head scratcher, especially in this wig, um, <laughs> as a name. So it was the quote Lady Bunny and everyone would put quotes around the <laughs> as if questioning the authenticity. <laughs> and it just didn't make any sense, so I just said, fuck it, Lady Bunny. You came up with RuPaul and La Homa and all of these crazy queens. What was like going on in New York then? I arrived at the Pyramid Club and everyone was wearing all black <laughs> with the brooch <laughs> here, that 80s look and listening to the Smiths. Our crew from Atlanta was kind of like bright and silly. And that was kind of why we stood out. So you didn't want politics on stage at Wigstock. And now you're actually quite the political activist. Well, a lot of things happened. Um, because ACT UP was so prominent, I just felt like there was, I mean, I did every AIDS benefit I was asked to almost, but I just felt like it's the boy that cried wolf. If you're always saying, we demand this and we demand that, and you never have a party that says, hey, we're crazy and we love to have fun, and yes, we deserve these drugs, and yes, we deserve these tests, that, that I just felt that, that was my role. Everyone wants to know, and I know you get asked this every day, what are the chances that there could be like another wig stock one day? I think that the people that, have, that now inhabit Manhattan are bankers yeah, and yeah. yuppies, and they're not party people, which right. is why clubs are closing. Well, I mean, Chi Chi that does Jackie 60, a very popular underground artsy club said, if I were 20 years younger, I would restart the night in Brooklyn, which does have a neighborhood right. feel. Okay. What's next for Lady Bunny? Well, you know, um, we're not having another season of Drag You. They couldn't find enough busted, <laughs> pitiful, shabby excuses for women <laughs> that all weren't already booked on the next season of Drag Race. <laughs> You know, I am working on some original music, so in your next season, I will come back and do a little number. Gorgeous. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is LadyBunny.net. LadyBunny.net. And read her blog and check her out, and thank you so and much. Fuck me. <laughs> please, fuck me. please fuck her. Lady Bunny. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, doll. <laughs>